to this agronomy update from Technology Crops. I'm Luke Spainauer. As many of you have finished or about to finish harvest and are preparing for your crop behind rape seed, I wanted to share a few tips with you to help you control any volunteers. As you know, this is a small seed and seed losses at harvest are unavoidable, even with good harvest management. So volunteer rape seed has the potential of becoming a weed. The seed has little dormancy and will naturally germinate in your following crop. So I wanted to share a few tips to help you control any volunteers you may have. First, do not plow down the seed directly after harvest. This is very important as this can increase the seed bank lifespan and cause problems for shelf years in your cropping system. Secondly, allow the seed to lay on the soil surface. The closer seeds are to the seed surface, the less likely they are to stay in the soil and become dormant and become a problem down the road. Also, herbicides in your next crop in the rotation will kill rapeseed. Volunteer rapeseed can easily be controlled with currently available herbicides like glyphosate or glufosinate. Also, if you're using a residual herbicide, I would recommend one that controls mustard, wild or tame, as these herbicides generally control volunteer rapeseed as well. So, the key for effective control is to apply your herbicide prior to the four leaf stage when the plant is actively growing. Volunteer rapeseed is much more difficult to control with herbicides once the plants exceed the six leaf stage. So, if you're already have volunteer rapeseed immersion before you seed your next crop, or if you're seeing some regrowth on some of the stems after harvest, you may consider a burn down with glyphosate or paraquat. I'll leave you with that. If you have any questions, feel free to contact your grower relations manager, Jeff Riddle or Stephen Fletcher. And in the meantime, I hope you have a safe rest of the harvest.